except for Naboo and like whatever but you know of course they visited Tatooine three freaking times which was dumb um but nonetheless I, 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 at least they gave us brand new that's a beautiful thing about Star Wars it gives you this you have this palette to choose from of the entire galaxy most movies take place on earth and if they're a sci-fi film they take place in a space station or on the moon or perhaps on Mars none of them really take the time to say we'll take place on planet XYZ over here or planet this or planet that Star Wars has that luxury of having planets that come out of anywhere and you can create any planet you want you have this huge giant impossible level of creativity to choose from and we get a sand planet again like that's the thing that threw me off so hard I figured that was Tatooine when I saw the trail okay that's Tatooine he's on okay whatever we're on Tatooine again oh well no it's not Tatooine it's a different planet but it's the same okay it's Tatooine light um why it didn't even matter that it wasn't Tatooine that's the thing about it if it was okay this is a planet that is like a special backwater planet where they're doing things that are different or this is like a main planet of the base of the Empire or something I would have been like okay now it makes sense that this is in the movie but the planet basically is Tatooine too it really isn't anything more than that and that's what really made me like, what? This is Tatooine 2. It's not like it's different. It has no special unique qualities at all. Now, of course, they're not going to say the final battle of the Empire took place on Tatooine. That's just way too on the nose. And, of course, apparently J.J. was trying to just recapture that same visual uh, style of the original Star Wars film. And he wanted to have that but that is called ripping someone off. It's not about, oh, you know, this planet is so, you know, it needs to be a sand. There was no necessity for that. It could have been planet of grass and trees or something. It would have worked exactly the same. So I have no clue why he used a planet with sand again. And that just, you know makes the Star Wars universe look really tiny. Like, the only way a young Jedi can potentially discover her power is if she comes from a sand planet. You know, apparently episode 1 features that, episode 4 features that, and now episode 7 features that idea. That these new super Jedi come from sand planets. All of them. Now, there is some thought that this is Luke's daughter, and that he left her on the planet. And maybe he specifically wanted her to grow up on a sand planet. Because he liked it so much? I don't know what the reasoning is. I don't know why Luke would have a daughter and not want to raise her. Luke's not like that. And all this stuff does not make sense at all. It's just really stupid. Well, we'll see what happens next. I mean, you know... I'm, you know, I, I, I'm at my wits ends here. I don't know what the reasoning is. Jay is a very smart guy. I don't know why he would make this kind of decision. When you, when you look at, you know, oh, we got a DLC for Jakku for Battlefront, and you're like, you're playing the DLC. You're like, oh well, this planet has sand on it. It's sandy, but you know, at least with Tatooine, it had like fucking sarlacc pits and shit. You know. In fact, when you play the Tatooine map in Battlefront, and then you switch over to the Jakku map, you don't feel like you're playing on a different map at all. It's the same map. There's nothing... If it had, like, shit coming out of the ground, and, like, something that glows and all... Or it's like sh you know, just shit something going on, like giant worms coming out of the ground and eating everybody every so often, then I'd be like, this is cool. But... Essentially, if somebody does a fan edit at some point and basically redubs Finn to say Tatooine and redubs everybody who says Jakku to say Tatooine, and it would not change a thing. It would be the exact same, you know, difference. 
Hopefully Rogue One does not feature anything that has to do with sand planets. That's the thing that I didn't... There is sand in that trailer. There is a sand planet, apparently, in that trailer. It, it, it's apparently... But at least it has palm trees and shit. So this is going to be taking place in Miami. This new Star Wars movie. Palm trees in a Star Wars movie. I never thought I'd see that. You just don't. I just thought, okay, Star Wars. It'll have planets with, like... Megatron on it, Cybertron looking shit, and maybe, you know, Magma Planet or the, uh, you know, the planet of, of, of jelly. Maybe the whole planet's made of jelly, or maybe we'll just go back to Cloud City or something like that. No, we're in a planet that has palm trees. Holy God. That's creative. So if that, if this, this, this movie look cool and all, but if there are the idea of something new, we've never seen before in Star Wars is the palm tree planet I think we're we're, we're going down the wrong uh, way down there but we'll, we'll hopefully the movie is really really just way better than just the planet that they seem to have chosen it's an it's it, it, it you know we've gotten so much Star Wars stuff like games and things like that force unleashed and the idea those games have, the planets they come up with, typically suck. They're, they pretty much just go back to the stuff from the original trilogy. Or whatever new stuff they make up is basically looking like something out of Star Trek. It doesn't look like Star Wars. What is, what is Star Wars supposed to look like? Star Wars is supposed to look like an ancient ruin. Nothing new, nothing fresh, nothing clean. Everything's supposed to look like it's been around for hundreds of years. Okay? That's what I love about the original trilogy. It was the first star sci-fi film ever made, to some degree, I guess, that features these ships that looked old, beat up, and rusty. The whole world looked like it was lived in for so long, and that adds to the realism of the film. Nothing looked clean. Nothing looked like it was just made. It looked dirty, it looked run down, it looked like they rolled around in dirt before they shot with it. And that was a beautiful thing. Even Princess Leia looked like she had dirt on her white clothes and shit like that. Everything looked like it was run down and dirty and cheap. And when I watched it as a kid, I thought, oh wow, this stuff has been around forever. And you know, it, it sells the movie to you. You think, oh, you know, this is actually taking place. These people have been doing this thing for so long. In this world, in this universe, everything is dusty and rusty and crusty. When you see Obi Wan's lightsaber close up, it's just rusted and old and shit like that. It's like he's been used, had that thing for so long, you know. And and you buy it, you just buy it. Luke's speeder is all crusty and rusty and scratched. It's brand new. They just made it to make the movie, but it looks like it's been around for a while. And you buy it when the characters talk about how they've been doing things at the planet for so long you never think about it oh they're just talking whatever's in the script but when you see the world and you see how dirty and old it is and the characters talk about how they've been doing this stuff for so long and blah, 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 it makes sense to you just mentally you buy it oh yeah this all this stuff does look old all this stuff does look like it's been around the block so that helps and that's one thing in the trailer for Rogue One is that it does look like everybody has taken a shower. Everybody has just got their costume well, just just made fresh. Um, they are mimicking the aged look of the original trilogy, but not enough in my opinion. It still looks like a movie made today with new everything, clean set, just built. And that's not what Star Wars initially was about. It was about creating just the dirtiest, most run-down, most decrepit universe possible. It wasn't until Return of the Jedi that things started to look a little bit more clean and just made. Or Empire Strikes Back still used the idea that this is a lived-in universe. Everything is dirty. Everything is run-down and just, you know, scratched and, and, and decaying. And then... Return of the Jedi kind of keeps things nicer and cleaner. And from the start of the movie, everything is clean and well made and just slick. They tried to recreate the original feel of the first movies, but 
Yeah, they made things way too clean. Everybody's suit was nice and pressed and clean, and nothing looked like it was actually kind of, uh, you know, used at all. So that that kind of defeats the film that they're creating another Star Wars movie. This is the one that takes place years later, and of course everything should look older, should look more rundown. Yet, of course, the, the things just made. Every costume was just made. Everything was just made. So that, that, that everything was so clean. Of course, the prequels come along and completely, just completely destroy the idea of Star Wars being a lived-in universe.